All right, we're here in the Acadia Hall of Fame room, joined by Coach Emmett Batra, Acadia Axe Women 2021 AUS Women's Soccer Champions. A little bit of a championship preview here off the Nationals this week. First, Coach, thanks for the time. Got to be busy right now. Yeah, it is busy, but I uh, <laughs> appreciate the opportunity, yeah. So I want to talk about it personally for you first. You've been shepherding this program along. First Women's Soccer Championship in 25 years for the Acadia program. How rewarding was that for you as a coach to see it all come to fruition? Yeah, first off, and I've said this before, that it didn't feel like, obviously for us, it doesn't feel like 25 years. Right. So when people say that, it kind of really, <laughs> really puts into perspective. Um, and I've been here for almost half of that time. Right. So uh, it was a pretty satisfying feeling. Yeah. If there's ever time to go on a three-game winning streak, it's yeah. at the AUS Championship. Right. Three games in four days, an incredible grind. You take down Dow, CBU, and X mm -hmm. in succession. Take us inside that tournament a little bit and, and just what it takes to get that level of effort and, and intensity done over those four days. You know, a lot of the credit goes to the players. I mean, we try and set a culture and create an environment. But, uh, I mean, we were pretty um, – we had some pretty good leadership from the beginning and a lot of intensity even in training camp. Sometimes I thought we were a little too intense at times <laughs> and I had to pull back. So, uh, um, But there was a real belief within the team. So it didn't really matter where you finished. And frankly, we've been in finals before where we finished first or second with the bye or third or fourth. And we felt if we believed in ourselves in the locker room and if we took lessons from our games, um, there was no doubt we could be right there uh, in the final and, and, and win it again. Yeah, and as you look at your team, it's the depth that stands out. You know, you guys had four goals scored in the tournament right. over those three games, four different players. Right. Offensively, when you know you can go to the well from various spots in the field, it's got to be great as a coach. Absolutely, and and uh, for a lot of years we've had, you know, we have a really a lot of offensive talent, um, but for a lot of years it was down to one or two players that scored a lot of the goals, so right. maybe easier for other teams to hone in on. And right now, you know, if you're an opponent trying to game plan against us, it's hard to figure out where that goal might come from. So um, across the board, the depth's been really excellent and part of probably our success. Absolutely. And it helps to have the backstop. Milena Ramirez post two clean sheets out of three games. Right. Having that confidence, even for the girls out in front, just has to be supreme going into any game. Absolutely. And uh, so, yeah, she's done really well for a, for a rookie season, no question about it. And um, her future is really bright, but uh, her distribution, um, her calmness definitely flows to the team as well. And, and they're confident playing the ball back to her, which is an asset. Okay. So let's take us into the matchup. You draw UBC second in Can West. Mm -hmm. This is a rematch of the 2019 U Sports National Championship semifinal. That's right. You may meet in the quarters this time. That was a tight one nothing game. UBC got you that time. But mm -hmm. it's got to be helpful a little bit to have that poster board material. Probably not a lot of players left right then from, from that contest. Mm -hmm. but, but having that experience in that setting, it's got to give a little fire. Yeah, and, you know, we have a number of players from BC on the team as well. So they're familiar even with the – the team that uh, that's coming here. Um, we've actually played them at the last two nationals. We played them both times, and they've both been tight games. We played them here in 2016, again, a one nothing game. And if you go back in the history, when Acadia won the national championship, it was over UBC in 1990. So, you know, there's even a history between Acadia and UBC, and, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's a pretty powerful squad. 9-1-2 and two UBC was mm -hmm. in their regular season, then second to Trinity Western. Uh, you look at their lineup, it's a defensively, seems to be defensively oriented take the lineup. Five goals in 12 games is all they allowed this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a bit of a puzzle to, to break. Yeah, no question about it. Um, so, I mean, I still think that the matchup will be really tight. We've had a pretty strong uh, defensive effort ourselves. So that might speak to how the game might go. I think it'll be kind of a tight back and forth battle. And uh, there will definitely be no easy games here. And, and definitely we're going to start out with, uh, I think, what's going to be a great game. Yeah, everyone's very excited. One last question about them. You mentioned your lineup distributes the scoring. Mm -hmm. They're heavily top-loaded. Mm -hmm. um, Daniel Steer had, I think, counting their exhibition, 18 goals and 15 games played all, all season, not counting the playoffs. Yeah. You can key in there, it seems. Yeah, no question. I, I actually think they're good across the board, too, though. And so, yeah, they have, uh, you know, one goal scorer who I think was second in Canada West. And... Uh, uh, so in, on the one hand, you could try and key in and, and try and stop the supply tour. But uh, I think if we underestimate any of the other, uh, the rest of the team, um, you know, that won't go well for us. And at the same time, uh, we have players who can turn it on to maybe score a couple at any time as well. So. Okay. So finally, 
take us into the week to be. We sit here on the Monday of National Championship Week. What's the prep and the travel and everything look like? Give fans a little glimpse into the Axe Women's Week. Yeah, uh, for starters, this will we've played five games at CBU already this year, <laughs> right? So um, we jokingly say it's a bit of our home field. Mm -hmm. So uh, it allowed us to just stay at home now this week, train our own, on our own field. Um, we had to recuperate her a little bit yes. from the uh, from three games in four days and double overtime. So we gave them three days off. Um, some of the players that didn't play as much, we did train with. Mm -hmm. uh, when we came back on Thursday, they're still a little bit tired, but we've had a great weekend of training. We're going to go at it again tomorrow night. We don't need to go up there early. We can sleep in our own beds, and uh, we'll go, go up on Wednesday, and um, we'll be ready for them. Fantastic. I know you're ready. The coach has a look in his eye. He's ready to go here on Monday already. So it's the 2021 Protocase U Sports Women's Soccer Championship. You can catch it all on cbcsports.ca. Thursday, 1 p.m. is the kickoff. Acadia, UBC, don't miss it. Coach, best of luck. Thanks for the time. Thanks. Appreciate it.